Well, Sleeper Do's at work, and I've been on the marketplace. And I found a truck, so I sent the guy a message, and we're gonna go look at it, or I'm gonna go look at it. About to be pulling up here. Yes. Sold a Bronco two weeks ago. I seen your Bronco for sale. Oh. Uh, well, I'd had it posted for quite some time, and then I just took it down. So I just posted it back up for like five hundred dollars more than I asked for. Sold it. Look at these mirrors. What did Sleep Roo say about the truck? He said, "Don't buy it." So I'm gonna buy it. It's gonna be a nice truck. I want to drive this truck. I like this truck. I like old trucks. Sleeper dude doesn't really like old trucks so much. I love it. Ralphie's going to love it. And I'm excited about it. And so I'm going to the bank to get me some money. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go buy this truck. So hopefully he's not too angry. Well, I was at work today. And as you probably saw already, my wife went and bought a truck without me. And I told her that uh, to lowball them. And if they don't take it, you know, just walk away, but she likes trucks a little more than I do. So now I'm headed to go pick up a truck that she bought without me even looking at it. So hopefully she did a good job. Well, I've changed my clothes and I'm at home now and my wife is trying to explain to me what she did. So, so you bought a truck without me. Yes. Because you like trucks and I don't like trucks it's a good in general. Deal. She says it's a good deal. It's so super cool. Well, let's hook up to this trailer get our winch and uh, go over there because uh, the picture I saw it looks like it's got some flat casings. I don't know what these head and signals mean. She's squeezing lemons back there telling me to back up. Okay, I know this. Hey, squeezing lemons, squeezing lemons. All right, oh, okay, got her blinker on. Uh, Amy Jungle, what's that mean? I don't know what sign language you're using. I don't know what, oh my god, are you kidding me? I don't know what squeezing oh. lemons means. <laughs> That's come on back. Come oh, on this back. is mom back. I thought it was squeeze lemons. What the is? What are you doing? Can't go. Can't Why go. You're too stinky. Too stinky to go now. But I'm a good boy. You're not a baby anymore. I'm a good boy. Let's see if we can find a good battery here to use. We're going to use this uh, Top Don BT200 battery tester. Okay, 730, it's testing the battery now. Oh, so this is a bad battery. So this is one of the ones that I had in my Turbo Coupe Thunderbird, uh, driving it back and forth to work and it went dead on me one day and I was wondering if it was any good or not. So this battery is no good. Oh, so this one's a good one. I guess it just needed charged up. There's a link in the description below with a promo code on the discount list thing if you guys are interested in it. All right, we got our winch on there. We got it figured out which uh, battery was the good one. And hopefully that'll be enough to load this thing up. We only got Squeezy with us today because uh, Ralph and Wawa are at basketball practice. It's that camper top that sold you, wasn't it? It was the camper top. I love it. it. <laughs> it's, it's got a big camper dog. It sticks up. He asked if I was going to take the camera top off, and I'm like, uh, no. Uh, no. Am I an American? Yes. First impressions. Well, maybe I should have brought an air tank. That, it looks like that one might air up that casing. Oh, I wish somebody wouldn't have busted the windows out of that. Okay, so somebody took the clutch pedal off, and uh, oh man, look at all the wash mess up in there. I How many waspers there are? I know, that's, your, that's like snakes to you, isn't it? Yep. Look at all the chicken lots across the back. But the custom, yeah, that casing's no good. Yeah, okay, maybe one casing would air up, maybe. <laughs> She's got a few drain holes in her. Nothing a good uh, mat won't cover up. I was thinking license plate or street sign. Looks like she's got a key. That's good. 
Well, it looks like a 302, I'm assuming. Man, there's all kinds of room in here on these things. I'm used to cars where you have no room. So you so much better. I wish they wouldn't have took the pedals loose. It's actually got a battery in it. I can't believe that. We usually don't give one with a battery. What does that say? Quality tobacco. Quality lady. tobacco. <laughs> That's okay, so she's a three speed on the column. Oh, come on. Get out of gear. And uh, somebody has uh, unhooked all this to steal the pedals off of it that we got back. But um, I'm trying to just get it out of gear. off it because this thing's too long. Well, that should be enough. I don't think it's rolling off there. Let's get it home. It looks awful big back there. Well, hopefully our camper top doesn't blow off on the way home. Uh, our trailer was just a little too short for the ramps to fall back up. But we had that problem with the Lincoln. We've had that problem with some other vehicles too. But uh, I believe it's a 73 model Ford F100 looks like. 302, three speed manual, which is cool. I wish somebody wouldn't have already unbolted the pedals, but what are you gonna do? Couldn't get the back wheels to uh, come free because it's stuck in gear. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get that transmission in neutral. And, get some casings on that'll actually roll. Well, Ralphie's definitely gonna like this one. He's a, a truck fan, like his mama. But uh, it'd be a cool truck, get it cleaned up, get it back running and driving. Uh, let the kids drive a three-speed on the column, three on the tree. So I noticed the license plate says 2006. So this thing is in park now for 16 years if my math is right, so. Uh, it's been a while since she's been out in the highway system. You can get up here. You want to get in it? You can get up in it if you want. Stop. You got to get the transmission out of here. You got any ideas? Of course. Isn't that incredible, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you like it? You like it? Okay. Not your thing? That's pretty quick. Oh. oh, he's back. He is the nosiest goat on earth. You've been in this thing more than I have by now. Don't eat the paperwork. Huh? Well, we're in the Kid Hauler 9000 now, and we're going to go pick up Ralphie and Wawa from basketball practice and see what they think about mom's new purchase. What does it look like? Well, look at it and see. It's on the trailer. Oh. You love it? Yeah. It's awesome with it. <laughs> What's wrong with you people liking trucks? It's great. You love it? Yeah. Your dog get to have it. <laughs> <laughs> no. On. No. Maybe. What are you going to do? I mean, wait, Tom, 15. That's only five years. And then what? All right, we'll see. Drive we'll see. It. We'll see. You can drive it now. We'll, well see. Well, wouldn't Daddy think this was it? What about that camper top, huh? Liz, I kind of like it. I don't like the camper top that much. You don't like the camper top? No, I don't like the It's a, we think it's a 73 Ford F100. It's a three speed on the column, three on the tree. I know how to do that. 
I know you know how to do that. Rocky jumped right up in there. The steering column's kind of unbolted right now, so yeah, it goes up and down. Adjustable? Yeah. Hey, that's just tilt column, right? Yeah. Well, mom thought you'd like it. Well, here comes Rocky back. What are you doing, boy? Huh? You already been in this thing. It's weird, but I like it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Damn. Rocky wants to look again. He's the nosiest goat in the world. <laughs> Give him a kiss. <laughs> he don't know about your personal space, does he? No. I just have this. Seriously? Yeah. Well, aside from trying to get the transmission freed up, I'm going to try to find some some hoops and casings around here that actually fit this thing. I think this one, this was on the Lincoln for a while. I think, you know, see that's got that big lug pattern there. That's off the Jeep. Well, I've checked every one of these down through here that look like it might even kind of be the right uh, lug pattern and nothing, nothing fits it. Yeah, that's way off. So I guess we only got one, one good casing we can throw on there. Ellie, what's up? Your stomach's big. Like general. Did you give her the pooch? Oh, Ellie had her puppies. They look like you, Ellie. She had five of them? Yes. One's are probably wondering why it's all covered in snow now well it's been a couple days because i ran out of time to work on it had to go back to my day job because you have at least bought one with good casings honey you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit and i really hope this casing right here will air up and we can get both the front ones up in the air that would be really nice well, it looks like it's taking the air. Maybe you did all right, honey. <laughs> this thing has got real far over that way. I'm gonna try to leave it through this way. So, if you haven't seen us do this before, we got our little Harbor Freight snatch block. So now our winch is coming out, going around this, all the way back to the front crosswind row truck. This doubles the power of the winch and it pulls it back off the trailer for you. I wonder, I don't want it to take off. I pulled it down I think it's out of gear. I don't want this thing to take off and hit my building or something. On there now, just in case it takes off. That just caught you. <laughs> I'm gonna unhook this and hook the winch back up the way it was now that this thing's rolling. Maybe we can just let out with the winch the, the standard way. Cut your, cut your wheels to the right. Well, it won't roll now that it's gotten the dirt. So I'll have to use a come along to help pull it off here. the ramp and then the bolt that goes down between the coil spring holds it in is hung up on our ramp now so we're gonna have to somehow jack this thing up to get it off here i guess I don't know if this will be enough to get it off here yeah it's starting to come out it may roll back Thank <laughs> you. 
voice is hoarse, of course. Is that wrong? But anyway, uh, my buddy Hot Rod Hoarder on YouTube, he sent me uh, pictures of actually three different cars. And uh, so now we're gonna go try to see if we wanna buy this other car. Uh, it's a Ford Fairmont, so it's one of my favorite cars in the world. But I'm gonna go home, change clothes, get the family, and we're gonna go look at it and see if it's worth buying or not. Alfie, are you ready to go look at this Ford Fairmont? Uh, yes. Do you love Ford Fairmonts? Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen one. Okay. You're gonna love it. It's the most beautiful car that ever made. Okay. And it's a five speed, so it probably will do donuts. You do love a good donut, don't you? Oh, yeah. Awesome. We good? Over. You're not scared of bridges, are you, Squeezy? No? <laughs> well, I think we got everything loaded up. We got an air tank and a jack, some tools, and a uh, hot apple cider in a bedazzled cup. Uh, we're going to go check out this Fairmont. You guys like Fairmont, right? Yeah, love right, it. Right, guys? Do you know what it looks like? You have yes, I have. Pictures. Oh, I have Guys, there is the Dayton Courthouse where they did the Scopes Monkey Trial. If you ever heard of that in school. So yeah, this is where they had the trial, the Scopes Trial, 1925. It was right here at the Ray County Courthouse. William Jennings Bryant, guys. That's what he looked like, I guess. So that's uh, men that died in World War One. In World War II, Vietnam, and Korea from Ray County. Oh, dear Jesus. Look at that beauty. Oh, man. The destination is on your beauty. right. Thanks, what about the one with the patina looks terrible. on there? What looks terrible? The car. You need to get something new. No, it's not the black car. It's the red car. I know. It looks terrible. <laughs> what? You got told Did you see that one back there? With it you looks terrible. It's a beauty. It's, not, it's not new. It's Thing come up. Maybe that's enough to get us up. Get in there. Get it. No, get in. There you go. Let's see if you need to hear it. To the right a little bit. Man, how can you love something so much that you just met? You know, that's the real question. I guess love at first sight is real, because I'm in love. You just now figured if love at first sight's real? Yeah, <laughs> yes. But, man, air shocks, check, okay? Huge casings in the back that rub the quarters, check. This thing checks all the boxes. Um, I'll give you a little bit of information he told me there. It's got an aftermarket hog leg cam. We're not talking about a three-quarter racing cam. We're talking seven-eighths, all right? Uh, it's also got brand new poly carburetor. You know how we like them. Uh, looks like a new Edelbrock intake on it. Five-speed aftermarket shifter. And one of the big reasons I bought this car is because it's hideous. Is because it is. it looks like, yeah, it looks like a child's rendering of a car. And uh, it's got full QA1 tubular suspension up front with coilovers, aftermarket control arms in the back, 8.8 .8 rear end. I mean, it's a race car. Got a fuel cell in the trunk, it's a race car. But we gotta get this thing home. This will make a good cleanup video because this thing will buff out. This is one of the few cars I've had that will buff out. Bladder of a squirrel. <laughs> 
Do you know you always leave the door open when you get out of the truck and freeze us all? Every time. <laughs> That's in case the zombies come to have to get back in there quickly. When it's hot or cold, you always leave the door open. Kind of like, uh, you you kind of like it, huh? Yeah. I love that it has a bench seat front and rear. I love that, so we can all fit in it good. Well, it's done and got dark on us. We're gonna have to unload this thing in the dark. Uh, get it off here. And then we gotta repeat this whole process again with two more cars uh, this week as well. Can't get that burn casings that'll hold any air. Ralphie, are you ready? Yeah. Y'all got this. Child labor here. <laughs> What do you think about driving it? <laughs> Off the like it. Well, about these stickers, huh? That's every my one, part. every one of those adds twenty horsepower. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. You always got to slap a turp ski. Yeah. But uh, I love the bench seat. Look, the interior, crank windows, and everything. You gotta love crank window cars. Can I shift the? Yeah, shifters, mm -hmm. huh? Grab second, second gear. Third, fourth, fifth, reverse. There you go, you got it figured out. That's a T5. What? That's the Lord transmission. Okay, I think that's in first. Yeah. Well, you better put the hood on it. Don't wanna get no water in that thing. What are you doing, Ralphie? I don't know. What? Changing gears? You still love it today? It's uh, the next day now, and I'm pulling back up at the house from work, and we're gonna hook back up to the trailer and go and try to get these Dodge darts I bought from Hot Rod Hoarder. So let's go do that together. Get the family ready, huh? Here's my favorite. What's her name? It's Tiny Tim. That's Tiny Tim. Tim. This one, I haven't named her yet, but she's my favorite. She's thick girl, isn't she? Well, I don't know if she's a girl, actually. I think she is. Uh, you ready to go get some cars? Yeah, more. Yay! <laughs> Are you teaching him the lemon squeeze? Yeah, squeeze, squeeze. No, we're not. Oh. Don't teach him the lemon squeeze. Yes, it's me. You're gonna have to go to the left. I feel like we did this yesterday. We did actually do this yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to find some stuff that might fit these things to get them moving because. I know one of the cars is missing a wheel, so we're probably going to take some of these small Asian uh, uh, spares here to see if we can get something that'll bolt up to it. Do you know if any of these are dart lug patterns, Rocky? No. What's she doing? It looks like most of these are five on four and a half or bigger. So we do have these two, but I'm not sure that they're the right lug pattern. They're just smaller than five on four and a half. We're gonna just take them, see if they'll work or not. Dad's here now, so he's gonna haul one of these darts. And I'm gonna haul the other one on mine. But Ralphie, you've got to get out of the Fairmont. Dad, have you seen this it's just not hooked up yet, bud. It's we'll get to hot. it. All right. I heard you've been playing this thing today. Yeah. All right, come on. I was lazy, and I didn't want to work in the house. <laughs> we got three air tanks with us. We got a jack got them two little spare wheels so hopefully we can get these things loaded up they look like they've been sitting forever like probably 30 years uh it looks like they're about buried in the dirt but hopefully the winch and the rollback will have something to say about that but let's go get these darts the girls decided to ride with dad so he's up in front of us we're headed there today we've actually got our legitimate cup our pb blaster cup from texas that our friends sent us so we got the correct cups today instead of my wife's bedazzled one. 
Judy, are you excited about going? Are you so excited? He's scared. He's going to check him for mice. He will definitely check him for mice for sure. Can you believe we bought four cars in a week? We're going to try to move four cars in one week. And work a full-time job. <laughs> We're in a traffic jam. Mice. So we are meeting up with uh, Hot Rod Hoarder's dad because he's the one that owns these cars that I am purchasing. And he's gonna just scoot on down the road. We're gonna follow him to where these cars are. We're going straight up a mountain here. Man, this is steep. We've been going for miles now. Looks like we got ourselves a convoy. So Ralphie has not seen these vehicles. See what Ralphie thinks about them. I mean, I kind of like the red little wagon little over here. That one's well, I mean, a little rougher. So the neighbor over here said he lived here 25 years, and that these cars drove here and haven't moved in 25 years. Well, he's lived here 25 years. We don't know how long. Wow, that's on the ground. Well, we don't have much hope for this casing right here. Well, turn the valve on. Look at that. I think it's airing up. Wow. It's going to air up. Dad, you said it wouldn't. What does it look like to me? The rear one looks like it will. So there you go. There's facts for you. Don't trust your dad. Edit that out, please. <laughs> coming up over here, too. Man, these are gonna air up. That's incredible. That is incredible. They're underground and they're still coming up. rusty but she's a wagon i think it's a 64 dart station wagon slant six automatic let's get here's the dirt look. report for you guys i forgot to do that on that ford truck but it hadn't been sitting there that long but looks like we left our muffler behind but i don't see anything else uh, at least 25 years of sitting right here we'll look and see what time is last time it was titled what the, i can't read what that says but dark wagon roll up windows somebody took the front seat out of it for some reason looks like it says 35,000 miles probably 135 she's got some uh some rust here and there but man these wagons how many of them are there left you know you can't just just leave it here but uh i love the little tiny dog dish caps that's super cool it's got bias ply casings on it so you know it's been sitting a long time and Hot Rod Hoarder played a dirty, rotten trick on me. He just had to show me that it had a bumper hitch and a roof rack. And he knows, he knows I'd have to buy it then. That's what he did. It doesn't even have a casing on the one side. How are we going to get it off there? <laughs> I don't know. 
He's gonna air up and all. Keep moving. I can't leaking, but I don't see it filling up. I don't, I don't see it moving now, do you? No, it's too. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Probably have to leave something under there so Jack can get back out. There's lots of wood. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to get the wood out. Too big. short car and it's still hanging off. our dirt report on this one has some roots man we dug her out by the roots didn't we got some mayfield chocolate milk i sure would love to have some right about now somebody's been trying to soften the fuel out of this thing is that a set of keystone mags right there dad you remember them keystone did you have a van like this no but i've seen keystone mags many places <laughs> you guys gonna ride a papa yes what do you think about these cars i prefer the wagon you like the wagon better? Yes. I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, squeezy. Don't be that girl. All right, let's go home. Anyway, the car in front of us, I'm told, is a 65 dart, slant six, three speed on the tree. And the one on the trailer is a 64 dart, slant six, push button automatic car. They'll be blowing some leaves out. They always do. I can't believe both these cars were just driving up spot and parked, allegedly. Um, the title should tell us kind of how long they've been sitting, but at least 25 years, the neighbor said. Oh, Ralphie, what do you think about the new purchases? I like that one better than the one in front. You like the two-door car? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I like the shape of it. I'll, I'm, I love unibody, smaller cars. I'm not much of a full-frame big car fan as much as my wife is, but uh, I'm always looking for the small unibody cars. That's my go-to every time. transmission on these hills fellers gear that bad boy down don't ride your brakes either you gotta pump the brakes sometimes you just need to pump the brakes she's she got that gangster lane that's for sure i can't believe how buried these cars were that that blue car we thought the casing didn't air up but it was just buried under the dirt like the whole casing and part of the rim was totally under the dirt but those things were uh, becoming one with the, the 
the dirt again. For sure. So, wifey, what do you think about the cars we bought? I love the wagon. I know, I know it's not a 70s truck or nothing. Right. But, uh, you know I love my wagons. I love the wagon. It's got a cool roof rack and it's small. Yeah. Ish. And I like to drive it. Do you think we handle those push buttons? Oh yeah. Just push them. <laughs> We're going to have to stop and put some petrol on this thing. This big 6 liter LS is thirsty, son. Let me give you a walk around this one. I didn't really get to do it while we were there. Give you an idea of what kind of condition it's in. The outside of the body doesn't look that bad. Floors, I can see a hole in the floor in there. Somebody's already wallowed out the trunk hole. That's good, because I didn't get any keys with this thing at all. Got a little whiskey den in her right there. And for some reason, this fender right here is in terrible shape. Gonna have to come up with a fender for this thing. What do you think, Scooty? Huh? You like them? You like Dodge Dart, Scooty? I got my headlight on from bespoke post. This thing, this thing makes the dark daylight. I'm telling you, it's good. I love this thing now. I don't wanna to put too much in them things. You wanna to try to hook them in the middle somewhere. If you hook them on one side, it tends to drag the car sideways. She's gonna raise the tires. Oh, you want to watch your language, honey? Well guys, it's gonna be a little too dark and too late tonight to unload the other one. So we're gonna probably do that tomorrow when we got some daylight again. And we will finally have all four of these cars moved in one week. Well, it's the next day. I'm home from work again. Rocky's out here all puffed out. It's even colder than it was before. And we're gonna unload this last car. And then we're gonna walk through and show you guys a close up of each one. Maybe we didn't show something in an earlier video. And uh, we're gonna let Ralphie work the rollback switches. How about that? Yeah. You wanna do that? Yeah. You think you can? Look at you go. You know this thing's got a 454 big block Chevrolet. Four volt main. Tell everybody hi, Pebbles. Huh? Just mowing the yard. You gotta get your old backer stick in here to set your your idle high up. Good. Hey, yeah. you think 
think that tree's gonna be okay? That's Granny Goat. She didn't get it here and then maybe turn it back up. Maybe. Huh? I feel like Austin Powers in that tunnel trying to turn around. Right we, we cut this a little close. That's it. Two more inches, nothing, Ralphie. And before you start commenting, we didn't hurt anything back here. It didn't hurt a thing. I didn't expect it to slide off, but it did. But it didn't hurt anything, so we're golden So let's there. do a summary of what we bought with Rocky, because Rocky hasn't heard all this stuff yet. But we got a 65 Dodge Dart slant stick, three-speed on the column. This is a three-wheel model, rarely seen. Okay, got a little bit of a serious rust issue in this fender over here. Um, I've seen other darts with bad rust on the fender, so I don't know if this is a common problem. Let me know in the comments. Obviously, the windshield's broke. Uh, we got a little bit of floor pan rust. It looks like we're going to have to fix at some point, but supposedly this car ran and drove when it was parked. Here's what we got on the hood of this one. So this one is a 225, I guess, Super 6. Is that one a different one? I didn't even pay attention. But uh, yeah, leaning tower power on this one too. But uh, these are good little motors. You can't beat them. I, I'm gonna say both these probably will start up and run when we do get some work done to them. Uh, same car here basically, but a 64 Dodge Dart. So what do you think about the Darts, Ralphie? Uh, I like that one. You like the two door? Okay, and, well, you probably like it too because it's a manual transmission. You like those. Yeah. But this has got the push button automatic. That's kind of cool. I like the I like the uh, little tiny dog dish caps too that this thing has. Open the door. Open the door. We'll show them. Look, see on the dash, the shifter buttons. Oh, Rocky's going to get in there with you. So this is park, apparently. And then reverse, neutral. Drive, yeah. second, and What do you think, Rocky? Rocky likes this one. Oh, he's gonna go right in the back. Now this one's a little rustier than the uh, other dart. Maybe this was a northern car because this is an abnormal amount of rust. Oh, don't oh. don't lock him in there. Come on, Rocky. He was gonna back? lock you in there. I don't know. I've never tried. But anyway, it kind of has an abnormal amount of rust for uh, a car from Tennessee. But maybe it was from up north. This one might have been a no go if it would have been a. A regular four-door sedan but it's a wagon you know you gotta save all the wagons all right come on out rocky here's what we're working with under the hood of this jewel we got the leaning tower of power here six in a row ready to go 
Uh, well, this one's got the trailer hitch, so I guess it's ready to tow. Well, it looks all stock, of course. Um, nothing wrong with this thing. So, future video, we'll be getting this thing running is the plan. You can't beat these little engines. They just go and go and go. My Valari did great. Now, what about this one? I, I like it the best. You like this one the best? Yeah. What do you like so much about it? The shifter? Just that it's not in terrible condition. It is not in terrible condition, that's true. But I really, this is my favorite as well, but uh, my favorite cars on earth are the uh, late 70s, early 80s Fox body platform ugly cars. So this is right up my alley. Wish it was a box top. Wish it was a wagon, but it's not. Kind of hard to find these cars in this good of shape anymore. Uh, well, you know, some people don't have good taste. You know, there is those people out there. But love this car, 505 speed, 8.8, .8. can't beat it. Here's you a look under the hood of this one. So aftermarket pulleys, aftermarket fuel pump, like I said, aftermarket cam, Elbrock intake, stock headers, GM alternator. It's got a big Griffin radiator though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, caster camber plates, all the good stuff. So let's move on to this truck that you and mama are all googly-eyed over. So 73 F100, uh, 302, three speed on the column. What do you think about it, Rocky? Like it. You like it? So do you like the Fairmont or this better? They're equal. Equal? See, my mama, you know. truck that you have, that's my car that you have. Okay. Well, see, I'll, I just happen to like the cars better than the trucks myself, but I'm glad you and mom like it. We gotta get the panels back in this thing, bolt the steering column back up too. We got the fancy adjustable. Yeah, that's a tilt column. It tilts, don't it? Yeah. It's got the cool, uh, I love the camper top with the railing around the back. It's hilarious. Well, Squeezy came out here. Squeezy, of the four cars that we got this week, which one's your favorite one? None of them. No, no, no. You have to have a favorite. You don't like any of them? Nope. Uh, what do you want me to buy? A new car. A, a new one. My, my flops? Yeah. Bottle opener flops? Yeah. This honor has been bestowed upon you? Yeah. They're your size? Yeah. I think that fit great. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we got it done. We got them all four moved. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. You know? I like the Fairmont. Ralphie likes the Fairmont and the truck. Squeezy doesn't like nothing I buy. <laughs> so, hey, you gotta use them flops right. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> hey, we got the bourbon barbecue again. These things are awesome. You gotta get some. But uh, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at, at SleeperDude88. And check out our second channel, SleeperDude, the number two. Two. And pour one out for your homies. Don't forget that, guys. Rocky, you want your bangers? There you go. We also, we have a, if you look below, we sell t-shirts. You can also click on our username and then click on the store button. Here, Squeezy. You want some? Hey, she actually tried it today. Don't snarl your nose up at that. <laughs> As always, we appreciate you guys watching. We'll be future videos on all four of these cars, so... Stay tuned and subscribe. You know, only 15% of you guys do. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later. You want another one? The funny thing about him, he is the only goat we have that will eat these. We've tried to give him to Granny. She don't want them, but he loves them. He was born to be on this channel, weren't you, buddy? All right. We'll see you guys in the next video.